Let's talk about cybersecurity certifications. There are over 200 cybersecurity certifications floating around right now. Some of them open doors, get you hired, and put six figures in your pocket. Others, it's a complete waste of time and money. Now, let me ask you, how do you know which ones matter and which ones are dead weight? Because here's the reality. Some cybersecurity SaaS that we must have five years ago, hiring managers don't even take them seriously anymore. I'm telling you. Some newer SAT has skyrocketing in demand with companies willing to pay top dollar for professionals who have them. Today, we're breaking it all down. The cyber security certifications losing value in 2025, the ones rising in demand, and how you should adapt to avoid getting stuck with outdated credentials. If you're serious about cyber security, you don't want to make the mistake of chasing the wrong certifications. And by the time we're done, if this video gives you value, please don't forget to like, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with the certifications that are fading out. These are the ones that used to be valuable, but are not respected anymore. Years ago, Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, was a big deal. This certification that was created in 2003, government contractors listed it, HR managers recognized it. People thought it meant you knew how to hack. But today, hiring managers are calling it a joke. And here is why. The CH exam is 100% multiple choice. No hands-on hacking, no labs. It teaches terminology and tools, but not real world penetration testing skills. So let's look at CH versus OSCP. Any experienced cybersecurity pro will tell you OSCP wins every time. And get this, even the US Department of Defense, DOD, has officially approved computer pen test as an alternative to CEH for government contractors. This means even in federal cybersecurity jobs, CEH is losing ground. So here's the deal. If you're chasing a penetration testing career, skip CEH. Instead, OSCP or Pentest Plus are the certifications hiring managers actually respect today. Next is Duo from the EC Council, the Certified Hacking Forensic Investigator and Certified Incident Handler, okay? These were once considered strong certifications for cybersecurity forensics. And this is the response. But here is the reality today. GIAC Forensics SAT, GCFE, GCFA, they've completely taken over. Employers looking for digital forensics professionals don't even ask for CHFI anymore. ECIH is too basic. It's not in debt enough for modern incident response jobs. And let's not forget this. EC Council, the organization behind this SAT has been hit with plagiarism scandals and credibility issues. If you're looking at a career in forensics or incident response, the best path forward in 2025 is GIAC, GCFE or GCFA and not CHFI. Okay, let's talk about ISC2 SSCP certification. This was supposed to be an entry-level cybersecurity SAT that helped people land their four security jobs but here is what happened. Security Plus and the newer Certified in Cybersecurity, CC, have completely taken over. SSCP requires one year of experience, but why bother when Security Plus is more recognized and doesn't even require experience? Job postings have stopped listing SSCP as a required SAT, while Security Plus is still everywhere. So here is the move. If you were thinking of SSCP, skip it. Security Plus or the new ISC2 certified in cybersecurity are the better choices. Hiring managers don't care about SSCP anymore, so don't waste time on it. Here is something you need to know too. Some certifications literally get retired or become useless because of new technology, okay? Let me give you examples. Cisco CCNA security, gone. It was retired in 2020 and replaced with new cyber ops path. Microsoft old MCSE, MCSA security SAT, how about that? Phased out, replaced with Azure Security Engineer SAT. Even Comte had to upgrade CSCP to CSCP Plus because cybersecurity has changed. So if you see someone with CCNA security on their resume, it signals an outdated program. The thing is, if you want to stay relevant in 2025 and beyond, you need to focus on certifications that align with today's cybersecurity landscape. Things like cloud security, zero trust architecture, DevSecOps, knowledge. Because cybersecurity is evolving fast and hiring managers don't care about certifications that only focus on old school on-prem security. 
Here is what you need to be careful of. Holding on to old cybersecurity SAT can actually hurt your career. Now think about this. You have two candidates applying for a security engineer job. One has security plus, AWS security and pen test plus, the other has CH, SSCP and CHFI. Which one do you think gets the job offer? The first one. Yes, every time. Why? Because hiring managers are not impressed by outdated certifications. They want to see relevant skills that match today's cybersecurity threat. And here's the worst part. Some of you are spending thousands of dollars on cybersecurity SAT that won't even help you land a job. So before you sign up for a certification, make sure it's one that companies actually value in 2025. Now that we've covered the certifications that are losing value, let's talk about the ones that are in high demand right now. The SAT that are getting people hired, boosting salaries, and opening doors in cybersecurity. So if you want to stay ahead in this field, these are the certifications that will actually make a difference in 2025. Let's start with the foundation, the SAS that actually help newcomers land their first cybersecurity job. For a long time, Security Plus was the gold standard for entry-level cybersecurity jobs. And guess what? It still is. But now, it's not the only one. In 2025, newcomers have multiple strong options with the likes of CompTIA Security Plus, which is still number one beginner-friendly SAT, ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity, the newest Rising SAT as well, Fortinet Certified Fundamentals, which is a solid new network security SAT, and Palo Alto PCCET. This one is great for those getting into firewall and cloud security. And of course, Cisco CyberOps Associates. That's a go-to for SOC analyst roles. So, here is what is happening. Hiring managers want to see a baseline of cybersecurity knowledge for entry-level roles. And these certifications prove that. Now, some of you might be asking, should I still get Security Plus if I'm starting out? Answer is yes. Security Plus is still required for a lot of US government jobs and DOD contracts. But if you add ISE 2 certified in cybersecurity, or a vendor-specific SAT like Palo Alto PCCET, you stand out even more. Bottom line is, if you're new, Security Plus or CC is a powerful combo. If you're going into network security, add Fortinet or Palo Alto, okay? Now let's talk about the hottest trends in 2025. The thing is, if you want to future-proof your cybersecurity career, you shouldn't overlook cloud security because you can make some serious money there. I'm telling you, the world is moving away from traditional on-prem networks into cloud environment like AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud, right? GCP. And that means companies need professionals who understand cloud security. So what are the top cloud security certifications in 2025? That's the question. Let's look at certified cloud security professional. This one is a top choice for multi-cloud security. Then we talk about AWS certified security. Still the number one cloud security site in the US right now. Also, Microsoft Azure Security Engineer, the AZ500, is essential for companies using Azure and Google Cloud Professional Security Engineer is also rising in demand for GCP security. Let me break this down, okay? If you're working in cybersecurity in 2025 and you don't understand cloud security, you are at a huge disadvantage. Even government agencies in the US and Canada are migrating to cloud and infrastructure and they are requiring cloud security certifications in job postings. So if you're thinking which cybersecurity SAT will get me the best ROI, AWS Security or CCSP should be at the top of your list, okay? For those high hands-on offensive security certifications, let's talk about penetration testing and offensive security. This is where things change the most, okay? If you're looking to get into ethical hacking, red teaming, or vulnerability assessment, there's only one way to prove yourself in 2025, and that's with a certification with a Anton hacking exam. Now, here is what is rising, okay? Offensive Security Certified Professional, which is popularly called OSCP, is the gold standard for pen testers, okay? Also, CompTIA Pen Test Plus is a growing alternative. Now, Department of Defense, DOD, approved GIAC, GPEN, GXPN, okay? is another high-level pen tester 
respected the government roles. And e-learning security also is considered a strong, more affordable alternative to OSCP. But why are these sat booming? It's simply because companies want pen testers who can actually hack. Not just people who can answer multiple choice questions, okay? And then the OSCP exam kind of tops them all. You have a 24 hour live hacking challenge. No multiple choice, just real world penetration testing. And employers love it because it proves you can walk the walk. Okay, if you're serious about getting into pen testing, CH won't cut it anymore. You need something hands on like OSCP or Pentest Plus. All right, we've covered offensive security, but what about defensive cybersecurity roles? What's rising in 2025? Well, Comtia Sci SA Plus is now a staple for SOC analysts and threat hunters. GIAC for incident handler is one of the most respected IR SAT also. IR means incident response. Okay. Splunk core certified user is now essential for SIM analyst. Just in case you don't know. Now, here is what is happening. CYSA Plus or CYSA Plus is becoming the next step after Security Plus. Incident response teams are prioritizing GIAC SAT like GCIH. Okay. More companies also are requiring SOC analysts to have Splunk certifications. So if you're going for a SOC analyst, threat hunter or incident response role. These are the SATs that will get you hired in 2025. Finally, let's talk about GRC because cybersecurity isn't just about hacking. Governance, risk and compliance now pays big money because companies need experts who understand security policies and compliance laws. Now, let's look at the top GRC certifications in 2025. CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional, is still the gold standard for senior roles. CISM is a must have for security leadership. Also, CISA is very key to landing those audit and compliance jobs. And CDPSE, Certified Data Privacy Solutions Engineer, is the new kid on the block. A rising start for privacy professionals. So if you're aiming for management, governance, or compliance roles, these are the certifications that will make you a six-figure cybersecurity professional and down. Now you know which cybersecurity certifications are in demand in 2025, but how do you transition from outdated SAT to the right ones? How do you make sure you're not wasting time and money on the wrong certifications? That's what we're covering next. The first thing you need to do right now is reassess your certification roadmap. Now, here's the biggest mistake I see cybersecurity professionals make. They chase certifications based on what was hot five years ago. They pick SAT based on popularity, not hiring trends. They assume more SAT equals to better job opportunities. That's wrong. That's exactly how you waste thousands of dollars. This is what you need to do to fix that. Step number one, go to any major job board, LinkedIn, Indeed, USA Jobs. The choice is yours. Then search for the exact job title you want. SOC Analyst, Pen Tester, Cloud Security, GRC Analyst, ETC. After that, look at the certifications listed in the job description. Step number two, compare those SATs to what you're currently planning. If you see OSCP, Pen Test Plus, CCSP, or CISA Plus repeatedly showing up, that means they are in demand. If you don't see CEH, SICP, or CHFI listed often, that's a red flag. It means those SATs are not valued anymore. Step three, adjust your certification plan accordingly. So if you were planning to get CEH, but OSCP shows up more, switch to OSCP. If you were considering SSCP but Security Plus is listed five times more jobs, go for Security Plus. If you see Cloud Security SAT mentioned everywhere, start learning AWS or Azure Security. The fact remains that the cyber security industry moves fast and your top priority should be to align with what companies actually want. That's how you get the job. Now, let's say you already have a certification that is losing value. Should you throw it away? Not necessarily. A lot of certification bodies offer renewal programs or bridge exams to transition into newer in-demand credentials. I have a few examples for you. IIC2 allows you to renew SSCP credit towards CISSP. Okay? Comtia lets you upgrade Security Plus to CISA Plus or CISP Plus through continuing education. And Microsoft phased out MCSE but provides transition path to Azure SAT. 
What this means is you don't have to start from scratch. If you already invested in SAT, check if there is a way to upgrade or transition into something better. This can save you time, money, and effort while still keeping your certifications relevant in 2025. Now, I know I have shared a lot of good stuff with you today, but this is the most important advice I can give you. Stop focusing on collecting certifications. Please, start focusing on actual skills. I often ask my students one simple question. Would you rather hire someone with 10 cybersecurity SAT but no real world experience or someone with just 2-3 SAT but they've done real penetration testing, cloud security, or forensic investigation or compliance audit? You already know the answer to that. And it's because companies want people who can do the job, not just pass an exam. Once again, I have a simple but effective guide for you. For pen testers, get hands-on experience with Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, or CTF challenges. Then, build a personal portfolio of pen test reports. Trust me, hiring managers love this, okay? Also, learn basic scripting like Python and Bash to automate security testing. And for cloud security engineers, set up free AWS Azure or GCP account and practice security configurations, okay? After that, deploy a secure cloud architecture using identity and access management rules, policy, and encryption, okay? Also, learn how to use SIM tools like Splunk, Microsoft Sentinel, or AWS Guard Duty. For my SOC analyst and my blue teamers, get hands-on with Wireshark, Zeek, or Splunk for log analysis. Use Kali Linux for threat hunting and malware analysis as well. And learn how to detect phishing attacks, privilege escalation, and insider threats. You know what happens when you combine hands-on skills? With the right certifications, you become the cybersecurity professionals hiring managers are actually looking for. Now you know which certifications are dying in 2025, which ones are skyrocketing in demand, and how to transition and future-proof your cybersecurity career. I know we've covered a lot today, but there is more to come. Okay, If this breakdown gave you value, please ease that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more career changing cybersecurity insight. But most importantly, I want to hear from you. Which certification are you working on right now? Okay. Number two, have you ever taken a SAT that didn't help your career? If you have, let, share it with me. Number three, what's your biggest challenge in choosing the right cybersecurity path? Drop a comment below. I read every single one of them. Let's talk. I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. See you in the next one. Bye for now.